Learn how to make the super cool Minecraft pool, complete with three whole layers to swim in, a hot tub right over here, a lifeguard chair to make sure that no one drowns, some super cool places to sit, and to possibly eat a meal, some beach towels, and much much more. Come check it out! Hey guys and welcome back to iCraft MC's World. In this episode of our amazing Let's Play, we're going to be building a super cool swimming pool. But before that, two quick things of note. Uh, first of all, in the last episode, I said that we would be having shaders on for every episode, but a lot of you seem to have the opinion that it would be better if I had higher frame rates over shaders. So now what I'm going to do is if I ever want to show off a build, I'll use shaders, but overall we'll just mostly stick to the vanilla Minecraft look. The other thing is, is that I usually have a banner tutorial here, but I've decided to separate the banner tutorials from the Let's Plays. Don't worry, both so, are still going to be on the channel, but I'm just going to have them separately in two separate videos. Anyway, on to today's episode. So down here I've set up a super cool area, and we're going to have our swimming pool right over here. We're going to have a kind of a patio area here, and a super cool swimming pool here. And of course if you came for a tutorial on that, we're going to get into that right now. So we have here all these different materials. Um, these aren't really exact amounts, although they're approximately exact. So the majority of the pool itself is going to be made out of white concrete and a little bit of smooth quartz because it blends in well especially when it's underwater. I've kind of laid out an area here that I'm going to be building in and of course you can build your own swimming pool however in the world you'd like to. Uh, but basically for my one here I'm going to have kind of a roughly square shape uh, with a small hot tub kind of on the side. I'm just going to kind of surround it here in the white concrete as you know kind of the base of this and then right about here we're actually going to go like this and then like that and then like that so we're basically going to kind of have a small area that's going to kind of stick out here and this is going to be where the hot tub is so we're actually going to build over here one two three and then over here one two three and this is kind of laid out here where the hot tub is going to be and now what we're going to do is over here we're going to kind of lay all this in here in just some nice white concrete because this is going to be where the lowest kind of shallowest part of the pool is going to be and it'll kind of get deeper as we go so it'll start here with four blocks of shallow just like this then i'm going to go on to another layer of kind of a little bit less shallow so you can probably dig out this side bit here uh, and it'll basically just be a nice kind of uh, modern looking white pool here that we can kind of fill in with all the white concrete here uh, just like this and kind of just four blocks wide like this so once we've done this we're going to kind of want to transition between the higher bit of pool and the lower bit of pool here so it's a bit nicer and makes it more sense when you're kind of in the water instead of just dropping right off into the deep end so we're going to grab some of these smooth quartz slabs and simply put them down here just like this it looks a bit weird but when it's underwater you really cannot notice the difference uh, then right here i'm actually just going to put some smooth quartz slabs here so we can kind of have a bit of a transition into the water as well which is good. And over here we're going to kind of just build up the walls so we have kind of a distinctive hot tub outline as well as the overall pools outline just like this. And of course the cool thing about a pool in Minecraft is the fact that it is quite easy to move around water and to build big shapes like this so it really does work well in most worlds. Now I know we're kind of right next to the ocean but overall it's still a pretty cool thing to do so we'll kind of just fill this in here like this. And what we're going to do uh, it looks like I'm out of uh, pre-hardened uh, concrete. I'll just grab some of the powdered concrete here, but since this is all getting filled up with water, it shouldn't matter whatsoever. So, so I'm kind of just going to put in all the white concrete powder here. It sounds like there's actually a cave nearby. Of course there is, but uh, yeah, I'll kind of just fill all this in like this. Uh, so we basically just have our two pools kind of separated that way, which is pretty cool. Now, of course, we don't want to kind of a steep drop off again. So we're actually going to grab ourselves some of these smooth quartz slabs and put them in just like this. And then kind of around here like this and just make it all kind of uh, go in smoothly something like this kind of works so you have like a nice transition into there and of course we don't have to harden this because it'll become hardened when we put it under the water and uh, now to finish up the little hot tub area here that's not going to be too deep really it will just kind of make it a little bit deeper than it needs to be maybe three blocks like this should be totally fine uh, white concrete thankfully is a very easy thing to get so we can just kind of use an ample amount of that because it doesn't really matter and we'll kind of get out of there uh, now the cool thing about making a hot tub in Minecraft is there's actually a really really easy way of making it look like a hot tub and that is to use soul sand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some soul sand and kind of make ourselves a cool step down way of going into this hot tub. So we're going to kind of go like that and the lower bit is going to go in here like this. 
And now right here, what we're going to do is I'm actually about to harden one of these, actually. Or I, I can grab one of these hardened ones, uh, put it in there, and then I can uh, do it that way. And we'll kind of just go like that. Then what we're going to do right there, where I kind of hollowed out, is we're going to use a really cool secret, which is right over here. Uh, in here and that is the blast furnace the blast furnace is really cool because you can use it as what looks like a realistic drain so if i throw that in there you can kind of see it looks like a drain and it kind of just really complements any build so i think that's pretty cool all right and over here uh, we can put in a drain as well i think maybe on this wall would work well doesn't really matter you can put in one if you want you don't have to put in one but it's completely up to you we might even make this one be kind of low down as well because why not so the main body of the pool is done but of course there's huge amounts more to do in this area so what we're going to first start by doing is by kind of uh sectioning off what's actually going to be the pool and what's just going to be uh, a different area so i'm going to start by doing is i'm actually going to be breaking all the grass inside of this whole area here uh, right up to my large uh, patio walkway here because we're actually going to extend that right over to the pool uh, since obviously uh, pools are never usually surrounded by grass, uh, they're usually surrounded by cement or some kind of stone or just something that's, you know, uh, not grass, nothing dirty, so your wet feet don't uh, trail dirt everywhere. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to kind of clear away all of the dirt here, all the grass, and get that all cleaned up like this. Perfect. Now we're going to grab this and make ourselves a bit of a checkerboard pattern, which is exactly the same pattern that we already have here, just extending it because I think it makes a really nice patio brick pattern. But of course, if you want something more colorful, you could always use maybe andesite uh, or just whatever you want really, but something that kind of looks something like a brick really works well because this is a patio and patios are made out of bricks, of course. Anyway, I think it's just a nice pattern and it really does look cool because uh, this looks like kind of a larger texture than it is because this kind of dark gray edge on there kind of blends in with the andesite a bit better than the uh, other piece here does. So it kind of makes it look like they're larger and smaller pieces. But we'll kind of repeat that throughout the entire thing because I think it just looks really good. And of course we can kind of make this go all the way around here as well. So it kind of goes between the path and between the pool. And we're actually going to have a bit of a fence up there eventually too. This will just look nice here as a good way of separating and sort of as like the uh, stone or cement walkway you'd have around a pool in real life, which I think is pretty cool. And these stupid cave sounds, I think I'll just turn down my hostile creatures, they can just uh, scream as much as they want and I'll never get to hear them under there in the cave. But either way, we can kind of put this around here like this. It's cool as well because it'll always match up there on the edge, which is really nice. Uh, but either way, we can kind of put this around here just like this. And if it kind of doesn't match up, uh, we can always just change that again. So there we go, kind of just like this. And also what I like about andesite as well is there's actually a really nice texture to it compared to some of the other uh, kind of brick-like textures. And of course they're all good looking, but I kind of like there's little bits of bluish purple in there. And overall just a really pretty block, but it looks like it's just about bedtime here. So I'll probably just head over here to bed and then we can just uh, sleep real quick before we get eaten alive by mobs, uh, even though we can't hear them now. So we'll just jump into bed here. And in the morning, we will finish up the patio and we can make ourselves some really cool seats to sit on as we swim in the pool, which is cool as well as some towels to dry off with and overall some really cool stuff. So here we go. And we can just kind of surround the pool with these stone bricks just like this. What I'll probably do is I'll probably just quickly finish up the patio here and I'll be right back. And there we go. All of the bricks are down and I think it's looking super awesome. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to make kind of a nice border between the road and between the actual pool itself. So what we're going to do that with is we're going to do that with birch fences, orange, lime, and purple carpets, which is kind of an odd combination, but it actually turns out really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the crafting table like that so we can kind of make ourselves up as many more of these as possible, uh, just like that and like this. All right, I guess I can just use a crafting guide here to save a bit of time. There we go. Okay. And if I go like this, we're basically going to go two blocks tall all the way around here. So not a super big fence and nothing like crazy, like with iron or anything. And I actually just, uh, just realized I'm building this one too far uh, close. But either way, just kind of a nice fence to, you know, make kind of a, at least a, nothing else, a visual barrier between the pool and between the road itself. Because, you know, you want a pool to be a clean place and a road is kind of, you know, somewhat more of a dirty area. And you want, you know, your pool to be clean and nice and fresh instead of, you know, full of uh, dirt and grime so anyway we're gonna go around here and we're gonna kind of finish that up around here as well i just found a nice two block tall fence really does work well because it kind of makes that uh kind of fence look 
to it and, and more of almost like bars and things you don't actually want to use, you know, um, iron bars because it looks too like a prison, too much like a prison. But uh, thing is, most pools are actually surrounded by iron bars, or at least a lot of them are. And I think this one will be no exception uh, because we want this to look like a nice pool that although it's not a public pool, it is something that, uh, you know, whenever I invite someone over to my house, like Gemma or Jonas or just anyone else, we can just kind of enjoy like a pool party or something here. And this will be kind of a nice looking fence around that. So we're going to kind of finish this up around here like this. And then what the carpets are for is they're actually going to go on top of these fences. And it'll look really, really cool. And I'll do that in just about a second here. And actually right here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to have um, some fence gates there instead of normal fences. So we can get into the pool from the outside as well. Uh, so I'm going to put down my crafting table here and make a couple of those. Actually, I think we need four. So I'll just get two of those logs and some of these sticks here. And we should be able to do that pretty easily, just like that. And we'll get four of those. And we can put those around here, just like this. And that's kind of looking pretty cool already. So we'll put those on the other side as well, just like this. Now, now we're going to need one block to get up onto here. And we're going to grab ourselves all of our carpets and kind of start a pattern. So the pattern is going to basically go uh, right from here. We're going to start with... Uh, lime, then we're going to go to purple, then we're going to go to orange, then we're going to go back to lime, then purple, then orange, and just kind of around in the circle, just like this, making kind of a cool repeating pattern that'll really make this look quite cool, I think, and it almost looks like a bit of like a shade over the pool. It doesn't, doesn't really go anywhere near the pool, but it does look like kind of a cool way of decorating this. And it looks like we have some cool summertime decorations, although it isn't anywhere really near summertime. It still does look pretty cool. So we'll go around here like this and it's already starting to look awesome. I like these colors actually. They're a pretty good combination. And they just look kind of, you know, something really happy and like a pool, right? So I think that's pretty cool. All right, there we go. Okay, now onto that kind of some of the actual decorations we're going to use. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do first of all, uh, is I'm going to work on some areas for us to sit. So I have a bunch of this birch wood here. We're going to turn a whole bunch of that into planks because why not? We're going to make some slabs and some stairs just like this. Uh, not too many, we're not going to need, uh, but that should be fine just like that. I may as well grab some birch signs as well. Those always work well. And also some of this string we're going to need, which is right here. And we're also going to need ourselves uh, all this carpet here. So we'll just grab all that again. Okay. And we'll grab uh, some of these other things in a minute here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here. And we're going to kind of start building ourselves some cool little areas for us to sit down in. So we're going to start off by... Actually, one other thing I have to make here, which I forgot, is three more fence gates. Because we're going to use those to hang some uh, quote-unquote towels on. Which are going to be banners, of course. But I think it'll still look pretty cool. And we'll just kind of go like this and like that. And actually one more like that. There we go. And I may as well move the crafting table over as well as these chests, since there's not really much of a point of them being all the way over there. It's kind of silly, actually. Okay, now right up here, we're actually going to put uh, three fence gates uh, just like this, and that one, of course, is placed wrong. Uh, we could use fences, but they're a bit thinner, and they don't have these things hanging down, so they look really cool. And of course, as long as we don't open them, they look like kind of a single bar going across there, which is pretty cool. So I'm thinking just about here, we'll make ourselves a bit of a, a beach towel and a bit of a kind of seating area with an umbrella, just so we can kind of sit under the sun. So we're going to kind of go four, I can sit of three up, so one, two, three, four. I'm going to grab the string. And kind of just circle this around here just like this with string which is how i always make these and you can kind of place it on the side but it's easier just to kind of go step by step i think i'll have this one be red and white just like this so we'll kind of have it be red in the middle and then uh, white on the sides like this and then once we have that stuff on the sides we can kind of look down and place more string for the other two pieces and that'll kind of make us a cool little uh beach umbrella like this and we can kind of see there we go that's pretty cool looking and of course, this is going to provide shade to people in some beach towels. So we're going to grab ourselves these and put these uh, right down here like that. And we're going to put that there like this and like this. And this here like that and that. So that's looking pretty cool. That'll kind of be somewhat near the pool entrance there and hopefully not too close to it. But overall, it shouldn't matter too much. All right. And what we can do is right over here, I think we'll make ourselves some nice little uh, chairs to sit down in. Because, you know, people kind of want to lay down on these uh, folding chairs like that. We can kind of have a little uh, area to uh, kind of give us shade above this as well. So we're actually going to just go up three blocks just like this. So one, two, three, if we can actually reach. Put string on either side like that and like that. And we're going to grab blue carpet and put blue carpet on either side like this and white carpet in the middle. 
uh, hopefully not falling down. There we go. And you can see there we have a cool little shady area. And we can actually improve this by getting some of these signs and putting them on the edges like that and like this as kind of like a hand, uh, little places to put your hands, which is kind of cool. So there we go. That kind of is a cool little seating area like that. Uh, something we can do as well right over here is we can make ourselves a little area to put up some beach towels. So we're going to put up some uh, fences right here. We can grab ourselves some other things there. We can put up a uh, pressure plate on top of those to kind of make it look like that. And we'll actually make this look really cool by grabbing ourselves some banners. And over, uh, I was about to go over there because I had my chests over there. Uh, my memory was a bit bad on that. But anyway, if we go back over here, we'll grab ourselves these shulker boxes full of stuff. Throw them down right here and here. And we can grab ourselves all of these banners just like this. So the first one, we're going to put down a banner there. We're going to put down a banner here and a banner right here. So we kind of have like a cool little divider as well as a, of course, area to store some beach towels. And then over here, we can put down some uh, towels as well, just like this. And of course, every beach area has towels or every just, you know, swimming area like this pool. So I think that looks pretty cool just like this. All right. Uh, what we can also do is we need an area for a lifeguard to sit because of course we don't want anyone to drown. That would not be good at all. So we'll grab this stuff right here and we can make ourselves a beach uh, kind of lifeguard tower there, which would be cool. So we'll kind of have it near the uh, two pools. So kind of near the deep end and near the hot tub, since I guess people could probably drown more in the deep end. So we're going to grab some scaffolding and go up three blocks. So one, two, three, like that. Then we're going to grab birch stairs and put them there. Then we're going to grab birch fences and go one, uh, just one back like, just like there. Now we're going to go up two blocks. So one, two. And a third up there. And I'm actually going to craft something right up here. If I can actually find a place to place a uh, crafting table. Uh, which is one of these birch fence gates. Because I want actually one more up there. So we're going to go like this. And put a birch fence gate there. So if we look in fifth person, or uh, third person, not fifth person. We can see there we have uh, two fences in between here and the top. So now from here. We can get ourselves some string and basically put string along the edges all around here like this. And this will basically be kind of a hanging uh, lifeguard um, shade area. So what we can do is we can put a red carpet here, 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 and here. We can put white carpet there, uh, here, and we can also put some more string in there and there. Looks like I'm actually almost out of carpet. I might have dropped one over there. Uh, or I might have just not brought enough. I'll see if I have one more in here. Let's see. Uh, I do not. So I'll just grab one more white carpet in here. Thankfully, carpet is a very easy thing to get. Either with uh, you know, just crafting it or a duplicator or whatever. But I got lots of wool, so I'll just uh, craft this. And I'll grab that. All right. Looks like it's bedtime as well, which is, I guess, sort of convenient since we're already inside of our house. So we may as well go in here and sleep just like this. In the morning, we can finish up the beach area and fill the pool with water, which will be super cool. All right, there we go. And it, while we're at it, I forgot uh, one thing, which is actually going to be a very important ingredient to the pool. Something that uh, you cannot forget in any outdoor pool unless you want it to mold. And that thing is chlorine. Now, you may be saying chlorine is not in Minecraft. That's a bit silly. Uh, but what we can actually do is we can actually make ourselves uh, some chlorine in a different way. So here's our chlorine right here. And you may say, well, that says sugar on it. Well, it says sugar on it right now, but if we actually go right up here to our uh, attic here, all the way up here through our entire huge house, in here to this area right over here, there are anvils. We can make ourselves chlorine just like this. And I have no idea how to spell this. So I'm probably going to spell it wrong, but there we go. Uh, chlorine, like that. I think that's how you spell it. There we go. There's our chlorine. And that's uh, basically a chemical people add to pools to make it kind of not rot. And so people don't get uh, sick from mold when they're swimming in a pool or so that, you know, there's no bugs or anything that decide to live in the pool. So anyway, we don't actually have to add that yet since we obviously haven't added our water yet either. So we have a couple more things to add. Uh, one of those is a bit of lighting when it's nighttime. We don't want things to be dark. So we're going to add a couple tiki torches or just some nice little torches to go down here like this. And we'll kind of place one there. And we'll place one over here, uh, probably just about, let's see, maybe from here. We'll go like maybe there should be good. Just somewhat spaced out, but also not in the way of anyone's uh, viewing area. Uh, one other thing we can do is we can also make ourselves another small little seating area. Uh, so what we can do is we can have kind of a little area with a table, since sometimes people might want to eat at the beach. Or not at the beach, but at the swimming area here. 
We can put down a chair here and a chair there with a fence, a birch fence and a birch pressure plate. And there's a little seating area there, which is pretty cool. And we also have our guard tower there, which needs to be completed by getting rid of this crafting table. And if I actually get that one more white carpet there too, which I guess I'll have to kind of pile up to do that or I have some scaffolding I don't have to pile up there. There we go. Isn't modern Minecraft and all of its cool blocks nice? But anyway, we can put that there. We can grab that uh, crafting table, hopefully break that and that is fixed in a jiffy there we go there's our a kind of lifeguard tower there which is cool and we can kind of complement that by putting down some signs on either side that say lifeguard just like that on either side so people are kind of alerted to the fact that this is indeed a lifeguard's chair and it'll also double as some handrails for the lifeguards they don't uh, their hands do not need to get sore and that's kind of cool looking there we go okay so now what we have to do is I think we're pretty well done here with the main area so what we can do now is we can fill this up with water and after that we'll add in some lights under the water so in here we have uh, just two buckets and because of the magic of Minecraft that's perfectly enough to fill up this entire pool and of course as you do with any uh, Minecraft uh, place of water or a pool you always want to kind of fill it up from the bottom uh, to the top there just like that just so that you do not uh, run out of water and also so that you don't have any um, places that are not water sources deep underground uh, which of course are underwater I guess which would be hard to get to and because we have the soul sand here we have a bit of an actual uh, pool here a bit of a hot tub because it's going to kind of uh, maybe more of a jacuzzi really but you know it'll bounce you up and down there which is pretty cool we can grab a piece of soul sand here right down there so the entire thing it will bounce you up and down we can kind of hide down here in the corner put that there and there we go up and it's interesting because we know these are all sources because the bubbles are actually coming up there so okay so now we're going to fill down here and of course we can just use this to kind of harden that as well and over here we can kind of just start from here and it is actually quite a quick operation to fill up a pool with water uh, in minecraft at least uh, probably not in real life i wouldn't know uh, but uh, there we go we can kind of just fill all that in here like this and all the way like that and you can see that is all good and we can start over here and kind of go like this and like this and basically just get ourselves a cool uh, pool to go in here like this and i think it's cool we kind of have it stepped down like that you know where it's kind of uh from one tier to another to another so whatever you know depth of water someone wants to swim at they have that choice and of course people can enjoy a uh, water at all depths which is pretty cool there so we can go like that we can fill this in here and i think that's probably gonna all fill in yes it is so that's perfect we'll just grab one more here and if there are two buckets, because of the cool way Minecraft works, we'll have filled up this entire pool. And we'll just grab a couple bits more water in there. I go like this and like this, and the pool is so close to being done, it's super cool. Um, too bad we don't have like a hose we could just stuff in the pool and not have to do this, but I guess that'd probably take longer. Although, of course, hoses are not in Minecraft. Okay, and we'll just kind of finish up filling this in all like that. Alright, and you can see it's kind of all filled in there, which is cool. So, one last thing is to put in some lights that people can actually see we're going to do is right over here we're going to put in a light there i think and we're going to put one over here kind of near the entrance so just about there should look good then we can go over here and we can grab ourselves a light and we can put one right or maybe we'll put one right over down here just like that i'll have to put one concrete back just like that it's kind of floating up there for me and i can also put one um, possibly down here like maybe just about in the middle here or something like maybe there or something like that i don't know something like that should work fine or we can actually put one right here could work well put one there then we can put one kind of over here like this and just kind of make this be something where you know it's lit up and most uh, good pools have lights in the bottom of them anyway so then we can kind of put one probably right over here should work doesn't have to be exact but just somewhat lined up and then over here we can kind of throw one in right over here as well and that'll probably let up the entire pool in case of a nighttime swimming or anything cool like that. So yeah, there we go. I think that is, and I've probably forgotten something, but I think that is the entire pool area done. So let me just throw everything in here and I'll turn on shaders and we can kind of check out what this cool thing looks like. Wait, I forgot one important thing, which is the fact that we have to chlorinate our pool, <laughs> which we'll do there by uh, just throwing some of that in there like this. And uh, yeah, I'll just throw all this in here like this. Okay, there we go. It's now uh, properly chlorinated and what we can do is now is we can uh we can turn on our shaders just like this and here we go here is the pool with shaders and it looks like the chlorine has absorbed into the water there so this should all be safe to swim in and we can kind of enjoy this pool from underwater here we don't want to get sucked into the drain there but we can kind of enjoy all this and it's just an awesome looking pool area i think it turned out really well and people can enjoy this pool in all sorts of different ways which is super awesome there 
and just a really cool pool. We can kind of enjoy the way the shaders make this look and kind of the reflections there, all the different kind of stuff. We can even see some kind of cool ways the light interacts under here, which is nice as well. And of course, at nighttime, this would be a cool place to swim as well because we've made sure to have really good lighting all around here. But I just think it turned out super well, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to press the like button, subscribe, comment, share, all these things that help my channel and this video. I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a great day. Goodbye.